Have you ever opened up your Pro Tools session to find that some or all of your audio files were missing? Knowing how to properly save, store, and send your Pro Tools session can save you time and heartache. What up, y'all? This is your boy, Wavy Wayne. The Wavy Way tip of the day is going to be to properly package your session for saving it and sending it to other engineers. All right. Now, I picked this topic today because I get a lot of sessions as a mix engineer where there's missing audio files. I have a lot of students in my classes who uh, end up with a PTX file and wonder why the audio files aren't there. All right. So we're going to explore a little bit about Pro Tools today and how the session should be saved in ways that you can ensure that all your audio files are going to be in one place. First, let's just explore Pro Tools session folder hierarchy. I'm gonna go to my finder here in Pro in my computer. And when I find a session, I'm just gonna find a little session, whatever. First thing first, I'm just gonna open up a session folder. Now, within a session folder are a few things. One of the main things is the PTX file. The PTX file is the document that saves all the information about the session. What uh, plugins you using, what fader positions you are, you know, different edit positions and things like that, your clip definition, all of that stuff there. But the audio files are not saved within that actual PTX document. Your audio files are saved in a totally separate audio files folder. So whenever you are moving or copying a Pro Tools session, you may want to just grab that entire folder. That may be your first thought and may be the simplest, but Pro Tools has a feature where you can import audio and copy it to that audio files folder, or you can import audio and just reference it from wherever its original location is. When you're adding audio to your session in that way, it will not become a part of your audio files folder. So if you just drag and drop that folder alone, you may be missing some of the audio files. The method that I like to use to ensure that all of my audio files will always be when in one place contained within my session is using save copy in so we're going to explore that right now typically after a long recording session you're going to have more clips in your clips list than are being used on the actual tracks all right so the first thing we're going to do is clean up this clips list to remove the unwanted clips to make our file size smaller this is going to be good to save us hard drive space or if we are sending this file it's going to be good because the file size will be smaller and it'll send a lot faster so the first thing that we need to do to clean up our clips list is go over to the clips list drop down menu choose to select unused when you do this all of the unused audio files in your session will become selected or highlighted and that means that they're not being used on any track if you're using any uh, of these audio clips on playlist they won't be selected so those are fine then I'm gonna go back to my drop down menu and choose clear after you choose clear you have a couple of options you can choose to remove the files or delete them from the hard drive if you choose to remove them they will simply just be removed from the clips list but they will still be saved in the audio files folder choose this option if you need those files to be referenced later from another session or another project if you don't need those files at all if they were just scratch takes that you know you're not going to need again then go ahead and hit delete and typically after every uh, recording session I'll delete the unused files just to recover that hard drive space anyway so I've got all the unused files selected. I'm going to go ahead and hit delete now. And before I hit delete, I'm going to hold the option key. By holding option, that's going to let Pro Tools know that I really want to delete it. If I don't hold option, I'll get a, uh, a basically a are you sure that you want to delete this audio file uh, message pop up for every single one of those audio files that I have selected. And as you can see, more files are in my session than are even being used in my track at all. That's what happens when you're recording. You record a lot of stuff and keep a little, all right? So I'm actually going to delete all these audio files right now. And again, I'm going to hold option and hit delete so that I'm not getting asked if I'm sure that I want to do that. So I'm going to hold Option, go ahead and delete those audio files. Make sure that you're absolutely sure you want to delete those files because you cannot undo it. And when by choosing Delete, they're permanently gone, erased, abolished, diminished, whatever, obliterated. They're gone, all right? 
So after you got your clips list cleaned up and your file size, your session size will be down to a smaller, more manageable size or is down to only the, the, uh, the things that we need in that session. Now we can save copy in. To do this, go up to the file menu, choose save copy in. Save copy in is going to allow you to create a self-contained copy of the session and all of its media in a whole nother folder in a different location. That way, uh, only what you need will be contained in this folder. So if you're going to send it to another engineer, which we doing often nowadays, or if you're just saving this to from one drive to another, this is the way I recommend you doing it. All right. So we open up our save copy in window. One of the main things that I'm going to check here, if nothing else, is audio files. Now you can do a few things with Save Copy In. If you're working on an earlier version of Pro Tools, you can choose to change the session format from uh, uh, an earlier version so that it's compatible. You can also change your audio file type. You can change the sample rate and the bit depth of the session and all of that. But right now, all I'm concerned with is making sure that the audio files are going to be a part of this new copy that I make. So when I do my save copy in, if I do nothing else, make sure you check this box under items to copy that says audio files. I hit OK and then I'm prompted to choose a location to save this new session folder. I'm going to just choose the desktop and we'll name this, you know, instead of copy of, I'll just delete that and then this will be youngin, you know, uh, send. Cause I'm gonna send this to somebody all right I'm gonna send it to another engineer to do some edits or uh, mix on it I'm just gonna save it to my desktop for this example so I'll go ahead and hit save and Pro Tools will process and gather all of the audio files all the other media for this session and place it in one self-contained folder and it's gonna be saved on my desktop all right we're gonna go take a look at that right now so let me minimize my Pro Tools window here Oops. Like my little genie effect. <laughs> so, now that I got my Pro Tools windows minimized, I can see on my desktop there is a folder, that new folder that was just created, youngin underscore send, all right? Let's open this folder up and see what's in it. Double click to see the contents. Inside this folder, all I have is my sessions PTX, and then I have the audio file. So all of the audio files that were associated with this session are saved. That's all I need to send. I don't need the session file backups, the wave cache, and all this stuff. My other engineer who's going to be working on this session, they don't need it. They don't want it. And it's just going to take longer for this session to send with all that crap in the folder. So I've condensed the file size. I'm going to be able to now send this very quickly and easily. So what I'll do now is just right click on this folder right if I choose to right click on this entire session folder I can choose to compress now by compressing this this is going to create a zip file for me the zip file is going to make this folder into one single file that can be sent over the internet pretty easily I'm going to choose compress and then as you see Pro Tools I'm sorry uh, the operating system here will go ahead and create a new zip file for me and that's the file that I'm going to upload and send over to my client or send over to the other producer or engineer that's working on this session. From there I can just use one of my favorite file transfer sites like WeTransfer. You can even use Dropbox or Google Drive however you need to send your session. I'll show you WeTransfer for now. I like WeTransfer. They actually uh, the reason I like it is because you can see whenever somebody uh, downloads the session or opens up that file and I like that little uh, insurance there. I like to send my mixes that way through WeTransfer so that as soon as the client downloads it and listens to it, I call them five minutes later like, yo, did you like that thing? Or they'll be calling me right away like, yo, that mix was flames, Wayne, I need to get back in there. So. Yeah, I like to use that WeTransfer to make sure that my clients are receiving their files and then I know whenever they downloaded it too. So. I'm going to go to wetransfer.com, W-E-T-R-A-N-S-F-E-R.com. Take me to free. <laughs> so when I get to wetransfer.com, I basically choose an email. I'm going to send it to yo mama at gmail.com, even though yo mama probably still using Yahoo or AOL. <laughs> So I choose uh, the email I'm going to send it to, and at the top here, I'm going to hit the button, add your files. 
So I hit the plus button and then I navigate to my desktop and I just select that zip folder that I was that I just created. Hit open. I can include a little message. Flames. And maybe even another message like like, comment, and subscribe. Exclamation, exclamation. <laughs> and then I just hit transfer and then it'll take a few minutes for that uh, session to send and that's it that's the wavy way tip of the day make sure you use this method whenever you are transferring sessions from one drive to another if you're gonna be sending a session to another engineer or producer to work on use this method you always want to make sure all the audio files are contained at the very least grab that entire session folder because that's where the audio files are contained within the audio files folder within your session folder all right if you have any questions leave a comment below and I'll get right to it make sure you like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you later if you have any topics that you want to see me cover, leave a comment and I'll get to it. That's the Wavy Way tip of the day. Y'all be dope. <laughs>